Hello, my name is Robert Wunsch and today I would like to talk about the JWT credentials deprecation in Adobe Developer Console, which will be migrated to OAuth. Let's have a look. Um, we will be seeing that uh, from January 27th, 25, uh, the JWT authentication mechanism in Adobe Developer Console will no longer work. For that, we need to migrate AEM and all AEM uh, integrations to IMS within AEM into OAuth. Let's have a look how that works. In this AEM, inst AEM instance, I have three uh, different integrations as Adobe IMS configurations in AEM, which use JWT to um, access this project in the Adobe Developer Console. Um, and uh, those are all connected to this one uh, Adobe Developer Console with the different services um, through this one JWT authentication um, uh, option. And now I would like to change that. So what we will be seeing from AM6521 or AMSR Cloud Services 16145 is this view where we see JWT is deprecated in AM as well. So let's uh, choose that and check the properties where we now can also enter the OAuth credentials. In the project, we are opening up the new credentials and what we are seeing here is that we um, need to execute the full migration um, for other services than to work. They might be stopped in this integration if you are still running through the migration phase. So let's start the migration. We have started the migration and now we can see um, the new elements that are required to use OAuth. So one thing we need is, sorry, the client secret. We need the scope and the organizational ID. All of that we find here. I copy the organization ID. Scope is a little bit uh, more tricky. I have now three different integrations and I have a lot of scopes. So for this target integration, which was the first one that I use here for target, uh, I am using the target scopes. And we still need the client secret. And with that, we should be able to have a successful change in the integration. Check the health. And with that, we already have switched to OAuth. I would be doing the same for um, both of the other uh, uh, integrations. So now I would be taking the launch integration, um, check on the properties. I'm sorry, that's the target. Take the launch properties. Adobe launch, change again. I take the organizational ID. I want to have the correct scope for launch. There we go. And I just picked the client secret again. I could have saved that. Now we have it. And we saved the second integration. Also, this integration should now be switched over to OAuth. Let's do the third. Again, uh, we need to check that. Here we have the analytics integration. Take the organizational ID scope and the secrets so with that we should uh, be able to uh, now completely use uh, this migration or all the different uh, integrations or we've completed the migration and should be able to use all the different integrations um, through OAuth and 
with that, we should be reviewing and deleting the migration. So let's wait for a little bit um, for this uh, to be deleted. Um, once that is being done and you see that uh, the, the uh, authentication is now running through OAuth um, and you see that the tokens are being generated correctly, you confirm and delete and that's about it for this migration.